from Sagittarius Capricorn to your end of the month reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, hit that big old like button and subscribe. Okay, guys, let's get in here and see what's going on with you. Best messages coming out for the end of the month, please. Please and thank you. Knight of Swords, ambitious, fast thinking, action orientated, brave, driven to succeed. Ooh, you got it all, guys. Right, driven. You guys are just moving, moving, moving over here. Okay, so let's get in here and see what is going on with you. This person is just racing in. Racing in with some kind of message about, you know what, I've got this work for you. I want you, you know, I want you to do so. It's something that's going to feel like magic. It's a great opportunity. You're going to see a lot of opportunities, a lot of potentials when it comes to this situation. Especially after you felt like you've been ruined, like coming out of the ruins, like you felt like you've been through it. You've been through it. I've been up the hill, down the hill, and I've fallen so many times. I'm broken. Um, so... This opportunity is definitely, you know, coming through, you know, right when you definitely feel like I'm just, that's it. I've been defeated. I've tried so many times. I've been in the Ten of Swords so long. And then I get out of the Ten of Swords and then I'm right back where I started from. Um, so it does feel like there is a lot of things that are going on within this situation that's going to allow you to juggle this situation with weighing the options to what's going on within the situation. So you might want to be asking a lot of questions. It's got your attention. You're being very mindful towards what's going on um, when it comes to this situation. Um, it definitely is showing itself as a stable opportunity for you, uh, right? Something that you can actually plant seeds and invest your time and energy into. It's like something that you've been waiting for over here, Satch Cap. Something that you've been, you know what, I've been doing. I've been diligently planting seeds for something like this, right? This is the investment that I've been really looking for, and it has sustainable results. Um, but it definitely has something that's got you a little a little defensive. And it could be the defensive because it's coming off the Ten of Swords because it could say, you know what, I've gone through all these different job opportunities. You know, I've been consulting in all these other opportunities I've been doing this and that and everything you know it lasts for a little while but it's nothing that actually sustains its its um, its life or its period meaning I could make a lot of money here and then all of a sudden it all stops right so it does feel like it's calling you for being a little careful within your planning but I do feel like that's a part of those two of Pinnacles definitely because you're looking at your inner resources like, hmm, right? So it could be that you're, the more that you're looking into a situation, you can find a little bit of lack of motivation when it comes to it. So it does feel like you're on a teeter-totter over here of high expectations or high energy vibes of, yes, finally I've got something. But you're also on the low end, though, too, because then it kind of makes you kind of look back, right, and kind of say, well... Every time I get too uppity about a situation, you know, it starts out to be a really good day and I start, you know, planting those seeds for the future. I get the goals going, but then all of a sudden everything kind of falls apart. So this is something that you definitely want to look into. This is something that you definitely are going to be more head over heart about. But I do feel like at first you're kind of like, yes, you know. But then all of a sudden, the more you look at it, the more your like, heart's kind of closing down, your mind is opening, I want to know more. You know, you're, I want the advice, I want to know what's going on, I want the truth of the situation, so you're becoming more disciplined in that area of finding out what is really going on. Or you definitely could be dealing with an Aquarius or a, a Libra, does not have to be, but I'm just saying there's a lot of, you know, things going around. You're also going to be reviewing your budget a lot. Because if this is one of those investments to where it's like, I have to do this to invest in this to get out there, like something online or something of that nature, you might say, ooh, that course costs, you know, this much money. I have to go look at my budget to see if that's worth it. And is it worth it? Right? I have to do my homework. 
because it always ends up good and then it ends up terrible. Or those other ones in the past are supposed to be good and then they end up terrible. You know, or it's like, thank God I didn't do that, right? Because I watch them all fall. I watch it all fall down. So you're really looking for the deceptive. The deceptive energy. Are they being deceptive about this situation? Really weighing the pros and cons, really using your discernment in this situation. Are they all talk? Are they all haste? Is this devious? Are they stealing my money? Is this real? Because it seems real, it seems good, but what is it really? Well, we'll get to that in just a second. So right now it just feels like you need this shift. You're standing at a portal right now. You're standing at this milestone of what it is you truly want to find that freedom, but you're just engaged in this situation within your mind is, is this it? Is this it or is it not it? Because I'm tired of it not being it, right? Every time I think there's an open door, there's a snake in my, there's a snake in my blue, right? <laughs> there's a snake in your cup, right? And so it's literally, they're the wolf in sheep's clothing, right? Or they were good for a while until it turned and they just couldn't hold the weight, right? So there's a lot of opportunities that are coming, but now you're just going to be searching for that purpose. Is this the choice I want to make or should I still looking or should I still continue to look in these other cups? Well, we're going to get down into that right now because we don't want overexertion on, you know, your mental health. <laughs> Seriously, right? Or your pocketbook. Um, so let's see. Show us what is coming. Is this opportunity for such a good one or is it going to end up like the last one? Or is it going to be like the other one, right? showing me that you're stubborn. That doesn't surprise me. That has nothing to do with anything. Sorry. <laughs> Literally showed me you're stubborn. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, tell me that too. Okay. My movers and shakers. Sag Cappies. Let's see. Planning process, uh, progress and making decisions. The discovery of the Queen of Pentacles. It's practical and supportive. It is very reliable providing financially with the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles says, well, this is a good deal. The problem is general reading, so we don't know how long it's 100% going to last for everyone. Is it going to last, right? Stephanie's got this fast message coming in with the Eight of Wands. Hold on, guys. I'm just looking at this because it's kind of like, yeah, I see it, but it's moving so quick. You might even have to have air travel to get there. I mean, you might even have to move. I mean, it shows that it has a potential. Oh, she's holding the pinnacle. I mean, it has the potential to pay off. It's almost like it just depends on how much action you're going to take within the situation. But I do see that some of you might have to travel might have to move. It shows the goals attained. We have two cards of travel though, so you may have to move. Um, that's a Capricorn card. They might have you traveling around the world. You might have to travel a lot for your business. but it's showing that it has great potential. I mean, it's the queen of pentacles. That's stabilization. And we have the ace of pentacles. You're just going to have
have to have a lot high level of commitment to make it actually make money from the situation. You're going to have to actually give it all. Like seriously, like, okay, so like for a example, if you're running your own online business or something, you're going to have to put in extras. You know what I mean? Like you're really going to have to push it to the level, push it to the limit, right? To really get it going, to really push it out the door. And you're going to really have to trust and use your wisdom through the situation. Some of you are moving up to supervisory role. And you're wondering if, you know, you want to take that extra, those extra, um, oh, there's more stress. Do I really want to be in a super, do I really want to be a supervisor moving up the ladder? Do I really want to be a supervisor? Because that means I lose my Saturdays and I have kids. Uh, it means extra long hours. I do have to travel sometimes. Um, I have to do this and I have to do that. Um, you know, it's extra stress. Uh, I have to run everybody else. So for some of you, it's that as well. So that would be still a higher level of commitment because now you're at a higher level. So you're saying, do I really want to be general manager? I don't know. Because I do know now I'm going to lose my Saturday. Right, when I'm with my kids or I have to work that night shift or you see what I'm saying? There's something that's more stressful and you have to put in extra, way extra right? Working much harder in different areas, right? Paper. Now I need paperwork. I've never had to do paperwork. You see what I'm saying? So it's going to be something where it's kind of like, is it going to make enough money to make me want to? Is the money worth me doing the extras? Or am I good where I am? That's, you know what I'm saying? That's going to be for some of you as well. Is it the investment I want to take, you know, for my family? Um, for myself but I want to look at the pros and cons to the situation so you're gonna make a very unbiased judgment about the situation but you're gonna be very cool-headed about the situation but like I said you're gonna use your head over your heart because it just feels like if you use your heart your hearts like yeah let's go right but then you're like oh my god what did I get myself into right um, so there's definitely kind of an imbalance at this time when it comes to that kind of situation about what's good for you or or like I said before, is it really going to work? Is it going to work out in the long run, right? Is it going to continue? It looks like it's going to continue. <laughs> it looks like it has the security. It has the wealth. There is business, but it is going to take a lot of your comfort time. You're going to have to be very intuitive, very discerning about this situation, the way it's running. But it does look like it does. I mean, you wanted the answer. There's the answer. Is it going to be a challenge? Absolutely. For some of you, there's even going to be some competition involved, okay, when it comes to this situation. Um, but it says there's going to be this news, this, this message, this, you know, this higher understanding for this new beginning and a place of, you know, new happy surprises. I mean, this is beautiful. This is beautiful for you. It's just going to be slow and steady, but it's going to be a lot of hard work. So no matter what, that Knight of Pentacles, even though it's slow and steady, he puts in all, all the work, right? Um, so, yeah, you're just going to have to have a lot more focus. And that's what it's saying. You know, how much do you want? Because you're definitely going to be a what? It looks like you will be a workhorse, right? You're going to be the workhorse. But you guys are the movers and shakers of the Zodiac. So, I mean, literally, right? Sag cap, I mean, Sagittarius is already the mover and the shaker um, as it is. And then you put that Capricorn with it, so now you're grounded. I mean, so now you're moving and shaking and grounded. Um, so, I mean, you have so many potentials going on it. It's just not so much that I don't have the potential. It's just that everything seems to be a miss or it's a hit and miss. But if you, I mean, if you want to know, that's a great opportunity you know what it is. Use your discernment. Look deep within yourself to see the Nine of Cups, right? Because there is victory here, my friends, okay? If it wasn't, I would let you know. 
I would literally say, this leads you to nowhere, don't do it. But it's not saying that. It's literally not saying that. What it, in fact, it's saying the complete opposite. The only thing it is saying is that this is going to take either time away, harder work, more stress. You see what I'm saying? Something of that nature, right? Okay. Beautiful reading, guys. You got this coming in. You're going to see this coming right at you towards the end of the month. Okay. Uh-oh. Gonna give you guys an overall card of let it change you. Embrace the unexpected. You gotta be kidding. What did I say? So it says it is gonna change you. It is gonna change you. Because you're gonna have to do something that either you were trying, you know, not to do, right? Like travel for work or have to move or do this or that, right? But it's saying let the change change you and embrace the unexpected weather the storm. So it's still going to feel like a storm in its own way. That's a beautiful card, guys. So if, you know, it, it's not, and mostly the storm is in the mind. Right? Because you have to get through all the decisions and weighing the options. The storm is mostly in the head. The confusion or, you know, Hey, my friends. Beautiful reading for you. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.